How to build easy stretcher frames. Take one. Hey guys, it's Mike Poplis. Some of you may have followed me over here from my TikTok uh, account, Art by Poplis, and it's kind of where I've been documenting kind of my experience as an emerging and uh, uh, evolving artist. So there's been a few people that have been asking me, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? And I don't mind sharing, so I'm here to go. I'm going to show you guys today how to do a simple stretcher frame and you can do a large scale painting um, any size you really want as long as you can make the frame. I'll be doing a couple frames today. I'll be doing a 63 by 46 and I'll be doing two 30 inch by 50 inch uh, stretcher frames as well. Here I'm just cutting the lengths down and I'm clamping the boards together so that I cut them all at the same time and then the weight should be right. And then I'll go back in and miter all the uh, corners just like uh, 45, just simple. Um, I mark on the table where the tip is and just plunge cut it and make sure I have a good clean cut. Um, I pay attention to the grain in the wood sometimes because uh, it may warp and I want to avoid that. And then when I pass it through the table saw, I'm just trying to make that, <clears throat> make that notch at the top. That little bit there is all that's going to be touching the canvas. So quick pass through the table saw, two passes for each board. Make sure you're doing them the same direction each time. And once you're finished with that, just make sure that they all stay kind of sized together. And that's important because when you assemble these, you want to have some balance. You know, um, you want the opposite piece to weigh as close to the same as the piece um, in front of you. So um, balance is really important. So try to keep the consistent sizes together. And I just got to say, I'm really grateful to have had this table saw. It's an old workhorse. When I move in and start working on the table, um, I try to set up like an assembly line type of environment. I'll position all the pieces where they belong, and then I'll just go through and systematically kind of match everything up. I'll Gorilla Glue every corner, and then it, it gets nailed with a brad nailer, two inch brad, 18 gauge, and um, that's it. This design is pretty decent, and it keeps the frame squared up really easily. Um, and really firmly. So these are both 30 inch by 50 inch, and then I put them together in about, I don't know, an hour. This is how it looks to the bottom on the left and the top of the uh, frame on the right. You can notice the profile is already lined up, and that's really all that's gonna be touching the surface of the canvas, like I said. And the back has got a wide stapled um, surface. So I'll go through and sand and I find these little multi-tools, um, they work really great. Um, you can get into little tight spaces and I'm just using that to really just round off the corner, just really cut the edge off the corner and given the, uh, the surface area a much softer profile. I've used a planer in the past as well and I've also used the chisel edge and it's fine. Whatever you want to do, just knock the edge off. Um, the Gorilla Glue kind of seeps out of the uh, corners, so I kind of knock off most of the Gorilla Glue after I've uh, nailed everything. But it really doesn't take much. Like, I've used hand sanding um, to do all this stuff too, um, and it still works. You don't have to really, you know, put a lot of effort into it. So now for the big one. Same process. Just go through, kind of make a assembly line setup. Get all your pieces uh, where you need them. Um, apply some Gorilla Glue. Oh, I gotta go get the compressor hooked up. Hang on, here I come. All right, I'm coming back. Yep, hold on. Okay, probably could have edited this one a little bit better. Um, okay, yep, still, yeah, plug, all right. Got the nail gun? I got nails in it? Yep, okay. Now, all right, and like I said, you know, you glue uh, liberally. Gorilla Glue is awesome. Um, if they want to sponsor me, I'm more than willing to accept uh, an endorsement. Um, it is uh, 
important that you kind of square up these corners. It doesn't matter necessarily um, how perfect they are, but um, from the outside perspective, not so much important, but the inside of that corner should be lined up uh, nice and tight. And then um, I put three uh, two inch brads, 18 gauge um, in each end. And really isn't all that complicated. Make sure you're not, you know, nailing near your hands because some of them, so those wire brads will pop all the way through. Um, each piece is assembled the same way, just, you know, going through, making sure that I try to find the, I don't know, equilibrium, balance in the, in the frame so that I'm not throwing it off once I've completed it and making it a little bit more difficult to, uh, to hang in a level way. I wire hang everything, um, almost everything anyway, and I do, um, I do like to make sure that it stays in a you know nice hanging position where it's level for a long time. So little things like that are important. You know, when you're looking at the edge of the frame, you can see that the surface that's touching the, the painting, that's touching the canvas, is relatively small in comparison to the frame size. The style frame is pretty beefy. I mean, it's two and a half inches wide. It'll stand up on its own, as you'll see here in a second. I mean, if it's square, it's gonna um, be a little bit more um, sturdy and you won't have a problem stretching any size canvas with this type of uh, technique. Uh, you get messy, you're gonna get dirty. Um, you're gonna punch boards when you're trying to clean dust off your shirt. But in the end, it'll still be fun. I mean, you still have fun. Yeah, you're gonna get dirty, but it's gonna be fun. It's not gonna be bad dirt. It's such sawdust. I mean, whatever. I ain't gonna kill you. So in the next video, um, I'm gonna be stretching the canvas that's laying in the driveway right behind me, and it's gonna give you 63 by 46 um, when it's all said and done. And the easy thing about um, stretching canvases is that if you lay it out in the sun and you let it get a little warm it makes it so much more easy uh, to stretch uh, so much easier to um, be pliant so check back with me soon I'm gonna do the video um, I already shot it and I'm gonna post it up where I'm stretching this massive thing and hopefully I'll have some uh, better music than this god-awful stuff that I'm, uh, I'm using today. And I, God, I apologize. Anybody that knows me knows that I like to include music in my stuff. But, yeah, this one, not so much. Well, thanks for checking in. Follow, uh, subscribe, whatever. You know, do whatever you want to do. You're going to do it. You're an adult. I don't need to tell you. Um... And thanks.